The chicken is so tender. How to make the best soy glazed chicken in 20 minutes. Today we'll follow along the instructions of Tiffy Cooks. The final result looks really appetizing, so I might as well give it a shot. Boneless chicken thigh with the skin on. Daddy went shopping and has gotten himself a whole lot of chicken thighs and drums that we still need to debone. Prostate testing gloves on and then we begin. First I remove the unwanted parts adjacent to the thigh and then scrape the meat off the leg bones before breaking and cutting through the joint. And then, just like in my butter chicken video, I remove the rest of the meat from the drum. Salt and pepper both sides. Let me get this moist bitch dry real quick before seasoning its beautiful pink meat with salt and pepper. Also, my wife wants tofu, which is the color and tasteless lump of yucky lying on my cutting board. Dust on a little bit of cornstarch. Cover it in a lot of cornstarch. And shake off any excess flour. Starch is not flour, but I'll let it slide this one time. Pan fry the chicken for seven minutes, skin side facing down. Pan frying the chicken for 7 minutes, skin side facing down. Flip. Flip. Oh, that little spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Pan fry for another 5 minutes. Pan fry for another 7 minutes. Remove and set aside. Remove and set aside. For the sauce, we're going to start with soy sauce, honey, minced garlic. Gonna use dark soy sauce, that's what I've still got most of at home along with some honey and minced garlic. Spice spice powder. I've watched this part at least 10 times, but still have not the slightest idea what she's saying. So instead of using set spice powder, I go with some minced garlic and since she's Asian, of course, quite some MSG. Mix together. Mix together. Drizzle in the sauce. Drizzle in the diarrhea looking sauce. Let it simmer for one minute. Add back in the chicken. After simmering and reducing for three minutes, add back in the chicken. And cook the chicken on high heat for another one to two minutes. And baste the chicken on low heat for another three minutes. My kitchen smells incredible. Can't wait to dig in. But first, let's cut the meat into strips. And for this meal, I also prepared an incredible side dish. Plain white rice. Finishing touches by adding green onion and white sesame on top of the meat and as easy as that we've gotten ourselves a beautiful 25 minute dish. Now let's give it a taste and rate it 6 through 9. <laughs> Quite a low effort meal but the taste is outstanding. The cornstarch makes the extremely juicy fries crispy as fuck and the white rice balances out the saltiness of the dark soy sauce. A solid 8 out of 9. Highly recommend. That's about it. See ya.